Hi guys, Brent here, and welcome to another commentary video. Today I want to talk about something that's been kind of like grinding my gears, getting on my nerves just a little bit out there in the DBD community. It's not necessarily anything new, but it's something that I'm just kind of like, I've noticed uh, kind of up, uh, up crop a little bit more, uh, and I feel like a lot of uh, DBD content creators that are specializing in a certain character have been making guides, talking about their guides, that sort of thing. Um, I know Horser just put out their Nemesis guide uh, that I had helped them with. Um, I, I'm always talking to Revium, which is like the big trickster main. Um, a lot of people are like, you know, advocating for their character one way or another right now. And usually in those conversations, and mine included, talking about the Xeomor stuff, usually people sometimes will take issue with something that these character experts say, even though they have uh, like, a, like a top four, top five stat or... Um, like a win streak that's really notable or something like that. A lot of people will take issue with what these guys are saying. And the main thing that they will say, usually to open this conversation is, I'm a P100, so I think you're wrong. Or I, as a P100, I completely disagree with what you say. And I just kind of want to say that like, being a P100 and a killer doesn't mean anything at all. <laughs> so let's go ahead and talk about it. So in, in layman's terms, to put it as simply as possible, being a P100 in a character does not mean anything besides you spent a lot of blood points in one place. That, that is all it means. My first P100 wasn't even a killer. My first P100 was Jeff, Jeff Johansson, because I just needed a place to put my blood points whenever my uh, blood points had hit the blood point cap. And I play killer 70 30 so the other 3d of that is survivor and that is the definitely the least played role that i play by a lot so in that situation because my first p100 was a survivor would you call me a survivor main would you say i'm really really great at survivor do you think i could teach people in survivor more importantly can i fight people who know more about survivor than me because i have a p100 jeff no no that's not how that works i just i i just had a lot of blood points and i'm like hmm i'm just gonna dump them all on the main survivor character that i have because uh, the xenomorph wasn't out yet by the way that's <laughs> that's why i picked jeff over xenomorph xenomorph was not out yet okay let's make that clear <laughs> but yeah it's just I, I just spent a lot of blood points in one place it's not my primary role or anything like that it's just where i decided to put my blood points it does not it's not any indicator of skill or anything like that um it is not it's not intrinsic right it's like how people see like uh oh well they have a lot of hours so they're actually very very good uh, i'll tell you especially since i run open lobbies a lot I'll, I'll run into people that have like two or three k hours that make very very puzzling weird decisions like things that you should probably have learned way earlier in dead by daylight that you are making these really weird mistakes up into like the four or five k six k hour zone it's like hours don't intrinsically one-to-one -one mean skill either it just means time spent just like Having a P100 just means blood point spent. That's all it means. So will I say, you know, elephant in the room? Would I say it makes you more likely to know something about that character? Probably, because more than likely, you're probably spending a lot of points on that character because you like that character. So you probably play them, <laughs> but it doesn't by no means make you an expert, especially more of an expert than someone else. And I know that this is kind of like a bait that a lot of uh, DVD content creators use in their content creation is that I'm a P100 singularity. I'm a P100 unknown. So now I get to tell you what to do. It's kind of just like something that people use to bait people into watching or in indulging in their content. Because uh, like, if you're not too, you know, invested in the world of Dead by Daylight, you play more casually, you may see that and be like, oh my gosh, that, that must mean they're a master of this character, P100. But if you actually play this game, you understand that that's just a uh, essentially a blood point investment that's all it is at the end of the day and I, I do want to say that like this is fine right this is okay right like you don't have to be an expert of your character to have them p100 i know there are people that p100 characters that they actively don't play just because they think they're neat <laughs> just because they think they're cool uh so like that's that's totally fine you should absolutely do that i think my issue is when people you they like try to weaponize the p100 thing i think that's where i take issues when people try to weaponize the fact that they have a p100 to argue and yell at people or pretend that they're an expert and in that case it's very very clear to me that th like they don't know because like i don't use the p100 thing to like boost anything when i'm trying to talk about like xenomorph stuff because i know that doesn't mean anything i point to like the guide writing or i point to my tail tack placement i point to things that actually like take a lot of effort or expertise or something to pull off 
there is no effort or expertise in spending all your blood points in one place. There just is not. <laughs> there's not a lot of effort or expertise in spending all your blood points in one place, and there's no way to prove that you put in a lot of hours into that character or the hours that you put into that character are even like good or something somebody should take a lesson from. I don't know. I think if there's any sort of TLDR I want you to take away from this video is be careful about people that are like, I'm a P100 so-and-so, so you should listen to me. Because at the end of the day, it's just a blood point investment. That's all it means. It does not mean that they are better than anybody else. It does not mean they have more expertise or they play the character correctly. It just means they like to spend their blood points on that character. That is all that intrinsically means. It is not a one-to-one -to, -one to skill or expertise of any sort. Uh, and if you are looking for like character experts on any sort of character, you should listen to people that have like a notable stat, somebody that has like a long win streak, somebody that had, you know, wrote the guide on the character. So like that, things that take a lot of effort and intimate understanding of the character to pull off in order to have those things, those are the people that you should listen to. I would even extend this partially to like really big content creators that play this game like nonstop. Like I would much rather listen to somebody like Ot Starve on how a character works versus uh, like somebody who says, well, I'm a P100 plague and I wouldn't do that. Like, because Ot Starve makes a, a, literally makes a living out of doing his best to educate people about the game. Is he right all the time? No. Uh, even just looking at like like Ots' add-on tier list, there, I have a, a few bones to pick about the Xeomorph stuff, but like he can't be an expert on every character in the in the game. He's a human with only a certain amount of hours in his, in his, in his uh, you know, physical vessel that he could have a day. <laughs> he can't be an expert in everybody, but like he's always trying. And I feel like he has a better idea on a lot of characters than people who quote unquote P100 their own characters just because he actually takes that time to be good at them and to understand them and not just that they spend all their blood points in one place. Yeah, just be, be careful out there. Don't fall for the P100 bait. That's kind of just one that I wanted to rant about today because usually it's not an issue. Usually I don't care. You do whatever. But if you're going to start arguing with people and yelling at them because you know better than them just because you spend all your blood points in one place, it kind of just doesn't make sense to me. And I've seen it a lot in the community lately and I just kind of wanted to talk about that because it makes me mad yeah on that it's gonna be it for today's video friends thank you so much for watching uh but i do upload daily so i will see you tomorrow but if i do that i'll see you when i see you goodbye